So just before we get started, I wanted to mention that you should format both your USB stick and your micro SD card into FAT32 format, whether it's a small capacity or large capacity. This is just sort of standard for everything in the 3D printer CNC industry. And you can use a tool just like this GUI format FAT32 tool. It's quick and easy as you can see here, and it'll help you avoid a lot of problems. So first up we want to go to the ArcDroid website, we want to go to the downloads page under support, and we're just going to download the firmware that we're going to need. Now we're going to do both of these, but I'm doing them one at a time just for simplicity's sake. So we're going to do the machine firmware first, and that's going to go on to our micro SD card. So once it's downloaded, we're just going to unzip that to our micro SD card. Now you notice I'm using Windows 7 here uh, for the computer that I do all this stuff on, so it's going to be very similar whether you're using Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, or a Mac. You just want to make sure that you unzip that, that file onto your micro SD card. And there'll only be one file for the machine firmware. Now that you have your file unzipped to your micro SD, we're going to go to the ArcDroid, we're going to power it on, and the first thing that we're going to do is check to see what firmware version is already loaded on the machine. So we're going to hit our little configuration cog, and we're going to click on the ArcDroid logo five times. Then we're going to hit Info, and we can see at the very top of the screen that that was the last firmware version that was installed. And that's different than the version that we've got now, so we're going to go ahead and do the upgrade. We can place our micro SD card into the slot on the ArcDroid machine itself. And then all we have to do is hit the reset button on the screen and the firmware should load automatically. And you'll notice while it's doing this that the load screen should basically take a little bit longer than it normally does and you should get that please wait or that busy notification at the top of the screen very briefly and then it'll boot up. And then we can go back into our configuration menu and see if our upgrade has worked. And you see here that we were successful. And I think it's always good practice that once you load the new firmware, you should do another reset or power cycle just to make sure that it clears out all the old junk files. I had had problems in the past. If you don't do a reset, that it'll sort of act funny. It's a similar type of process for doing the pendant or the simple trace firmware upgrade. We're going to go to the ArcDroid website, the downloads page once again, and we're going to download the simple trace firmware. And we're going to take that and we're going to unzip it just the same, but this time it's going to be to a USB stick. Now you do want to make sure that however you go about unzipping this, that you unzip all of the files to the USB stick. If you forget the icons folder or one of the other folders, everything may not load when it goes through the update process. So once we have our USB stick all prepared, we're going to go over to the ArcDroid, and if you didn't already do the machine firmware upgrade, you'd want to check and make sure that the Simple Trace firmware isn't the same one that you're already loading. We go into the little COG configuration menu, then we click on the ArcDroid logo five times and hit the info button, and that'll show you the version. Now we want to place our USB stick into the port on the screen, and then all we have to do is hit the reset button on the screen and the firmware should load automatically. Now you will notice if you've upgraded the Simple Trace in the past, it takes a little bit of time, especially loading the icons. The new loader for this firmware uh, loads very quickly, but you'll see the percentage come up there on the screen and it'll go through and once it's done you'll be back at the home screen again. So once again, same as before, we're going to do a power cycle or a reset. And 
And then we can go in to the little cog configuration, hit the ArcDroid logo five times, hit the info button, and we should see that we have upgraded our simple trace. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Now, if you notice that there's icons missing or something isn't working correctly, you may want to double check that you had all of the files loaded to your USB stick. I will also note that there is a simple way to know if your firmware has upgraded, whether it be on the pendant for Simple Trace or on the ArcDroid itself, and that is on your USB stick or on your micro SD card, the firmware file should have changed to a .cur. This is basically so that you don't get caught in a loop where if you power cycle the machine with your media drive attached, it won't just continually reload the firmware. So it's just a quick and easy way to know if your upgrade has actually loaded. At this time, I'd like to invite everybody watching to hit the subscribe button. I've noticed that over 90% of the viewers of my videos have not yet subscribed, and it would be a big help if you could just hit that button. I'm not asking for any donations or anything, though you can donate if you want to. Link is in the description for that. But it's not necessary. If you can just hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out a lot. Thanks.